team of the tournament. So I've, I've got the responsibility of picking the tight five. You pick the loose forwards. And Flicky, you got the back line. So should you start one to five or start from the back? Do you want to start, start one to five. Okay, Luis said, Piers Kuman. Look, Cyril Bay, I could have thought maybe Gange, but for me, Piers Kuman's probably in a in a struggling pack, or not the not the toughest pack. I think he was he was yeah. the go-to guy in terms of toughness. Hooker, I, was, I thought maybe um uh, thingy, the English hooker. Jamie George. Jamie George, sorry, but Dan Sheehan for me has been the yeah, best yeah. hooker Good in the Irish pack. Tight, a tricky one. It was either Furlong or Winnie Antonio, but at the end, I just read with Antonio purely because of his carry, solid in the scrum. So it's that was how it. he gets around the field. Eh? Then he gets yes, around the field a, for a bit. I, I, I thought, a big it almost unit. looks like he got fitter as the tournament went on because he played every single yeah. game till about 60, 70 minutes and he had, he had a long shift this weekend. Locks now. Okay. There's a big four traditional four lock. I thought Mia Four was bloody good against um, the French uh, lock that played yeah. this weekend. Carries dominated. Joe McCarthy, I thought, started well, but yeah, finished off quite yeah. started off well. No, that, like, tapered you off. can't take anything away of that first three performances. He was proper. Yeah, but what, what worries me about him is that the England game when you needed the hard men, when the England yeah. pack came. George Martin, mate. Yeah. You reckon George Martin? Yeah. That As guy, a four lock. That guy is young, he's gonna come through, he's he's tough. Mia for George proper, Martin. For me, George Martin. Eh? So like he only you, played two like games. In, in the first three weeks, if we sat like this, we would have gone Tyke, Byrne, McCarthy. Itoji? Okay, weeks. okay. Itoji at five? Could be. We pick him at five. The big result England had it's was against Ireland. Island. Look who played well. Yeah. Itoji. When... when you know, when he when got tough and they needed a physical guy, when the rubber hit the road, Itoji stood up. So I'll go with Itoji at five. Yeah. And four, I'm still not sure, but I'll go with uh, Miofo. George Martin, good mention. I'll go with Miofo. Made meters the whole time, carried well against a tough English pack. Okay, I'm going to go for the easiest one first, number eight, Ben O. Yeah. Yep. I mean, he showed us last year in the World Cup that, you know, he's made the step up from being a, a, a great premiership player to a, a proper test match okay. player. And obviously his performance against Ireland last week and I think was stand out for the tournament. Um, then it then it gets a bit muddy for me because there's so many players who's put their hand up, played well. Open side flanker, uh, Tommy Rafael with a lot of turnovers. The last two games, Christy from Scotland. Mm. Big impact on the ground, but I'm gonna go with Lamaro, Captain yeah. Italy, most Michelle successful. So we've gotta we've gotta have them in there. Yeah. Um I, I, I wish I was part of the celebrations post that in Cardiff. Cardiff is good good night out. And then blindside. Well, we're, talk, we're talking about celebrations. Dublin, St. Patrick's weekend, Six Nation champs. Yeah, good one, eh? I could have been. I'd, I'd rather yeah. be in Dublin. Yeah. Straight on the straight on the Guinness, <laughs> exactly. Guinness for 12 hours. Yeah. Um, and then um, a blindside flanker, I think I'm just going to use yeah. one of um, the other loose forwards I really like, Kelly and Doris. Yeah. Going to pl plug him on a blindside flanker. Um, just because Ben Hall's not really a line-out option. Yeah. Do I do 9 and 10? Yes, well? you do. Oh, sorry, 9 and 10, my mistake. Okay, 9 is easy for me, very easy. Gibson we, Park. Gibson Park, it's yeah. standout player, great performance again on the weekend. And I think they go in pairs, so 10 I'll go for Crowley. I okay. Think, I, I think a nice a nice step. Okay. Controversial. Controversial. I, I, not I, Finn? I, no. Fabulous Finn? No. I, I not actually, Ford? No. I actually like Crowley, and I like the fact that like a youngster's you know, stood up. Okay. Sexton left a big hole where everyone thought he was going to leave quite yeah. a big, big hole in that Irish attack. And then yeah. Crowley's, especially the first three weeks on the weekend, they were too lateral, but I think that was a team as a whole. I'm going to go with those two. Interesting. Crowley, yeah. I didn't see the Crowley one coming. No, yeah. But good call. It's your course, Color. I quite like it. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Flaky. It's gone for a combination. Yeah. Um, so, so for me, at, at the back, uh, Hugo Keenan, just a quality rugby player from Ireland. Just uh, I know he got injured um, in the tournament, but uh, for me, he's just a class act. He's all round game. You know, makes quality decisions, gets into good positions, uh, good kicking game as well. So for me, he he slots in at fifteen on the wing, left wing, James Lowe. Yeah. Again, top finisher, big lad, um, good left boot. Finish as well, hey. Oh, just the way. He, Proper. Just runs over people close to the line. Right wing, Damien Pinot. Yeah. Um, Duan? Beast. Duan? 
No space no. for Duran. No space for Duran. Okay. Uh, notable mention. Okay, notable, notable mention. mention. Hattrick. Um, yeah, Hattrick hero. Hat-trick. One game. One Against game. England, yeah, yeah, we love yeah. <laughs> one game. But uh, on the right wing, Damien, that guy's a beast. Yeah. I mean, he's just um, so big and strong and opportunistic and the excitement around him when he starts running yeah even sometimes he just he's, starts he's going across class. the field like this and sort of looks for a hole he had a banner nervous during the world cup with Oof. the record he did hey brian was was nervous no wonder brian was so edgy yeah until france got knocked yeah. out then he was his record was about to go exactly oh. and then uh, like we mentioned earlier on um Barbosa, just you know he needs to be mentioned but that yeah. kid is going to be really special so know? who's that Wabosa? Oh, Wabosa, yeah. Right wing. He's, hey, Wabosa, yeah. yeah. He's, 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 he's a special talent yeah. coming Proper through. Proper guess. So, and he only played, what, one and one and a bit yeah. games. Yeah. So, something to look forward to in the future. Um, in terms of the midfield, obviously, there's some some quality players. Uh, Bundy Aki was exceptional the whole yeah. uh, tournament. And then, for me, Hugh Jones um, really stood up and on attack, you know, he just gets through and gets yeah. into good positions and scores good tries. But I've gone for a combination of... of Brex and uh, Manancella. Oh, I like yeah. that. Yeah, that's it. Nice yeah, I like that. They, they for they me, were it. the combo of the of the comp, and um, they're the reason why Italian rugby is on the rise again. And they were really, really good. Strong, you know, big hits, subtle touches on attack, good hard straight running, you know, quality. quality. It's so good to see a combination coming right at, yeah. at international rugby. You know, a long time ago, you had the likes of Bunce and Little and Horan and Herbert or Horan and this is a combination that needs to be recognized and, and acknowledged. They they are quality. It's so a bright future. Do you got the uh, six what uh, six two split, seven, one, eight, zero, or five three with that team? We well, need some reinforcements at lock, because Mia for and go for a full eighty minutes. I can promise you it's not gonna be the seven <laughs> seven one. <laughs> That's the only one I can rule out. I'm joking. There's there. no seven one boys. <laughs> Good, nice team. So what Italians, we've got three Italian players. Got BC maybe in the mix. Yeah. Mm. Good player. Not yeah, good yeah. player. He, he, could have, player. he could possibly be there. Who coaches the team? Gonzalo. 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 Gonzalo coaches it. My man. That's it. Tell me a moment of the Six Nations for you guys. Anything that stands out? Uh, Italy. Their Italy, performance. Yeah. yeah every, every time... You know, bar the island game where they just got that, that kick class. against France. God, BC should have just every time you yeah. think like this weekend maybe they can't deliver the goods again. They were up there, you know, Italy. It was amazing to watch, and you know, like I was a little bit nervous because like you know they play against Wales, and I, I had them down as quite comfortable favourites. But I mean, the way they played, the intent they played was because so often with them in the past they will have one big performance like against Scotland, and then it tapers down the following week. But for them. Three weeks on the bounce, they were super competitive, which is Best amazing. Best Six Nations ever. We're not done yet, guys. Congratulations to Ireland. We'll welcome them to the Republic later on in the year.